what is this Canadian Emergency Response Fund and how much money do I get? And how do I get, do I eligible for, for, for this program? Um, you know, how to apply for this program and who will not be eligible? Um, how long does it take to get this uh, emergency fund into your account? So there are many other questions related to this topic. I will be answering those questions in this video. Namaskar, Adabar say good morning, good evening, what's up everyone? Hope you guys staying home and safe. Um, if you are new to this channel, hit that subscribe button and bell notification for an awesome content regarding real estate and my personal journey through investing and as a realtor and many other financial discussions. And if you like my content, please hit that thumbs up button for you know YouTube algorithm purpose. So with that, um, What's this uh, Canadian Emergency Response Benefit? Actually, a little backstory. Uh, in normal times, if you would have lost your job, you would apply for employment insurance, which is EI, um, and then you know you will get the uh, money while you are trying to find the job. Uh, that's how it works. But in this time period, due to the Corona, due to COVID nineteen. Their, the applications on EI started to flood a lot. So that's when the Canadian government came up with um, this uh, CREB program to support the Canadian families financially in this crisis. So um, if you already applied for CI, EI before, then don't apply for C, uh, this uh, Canadian emergency response benefit because it will automatically roll over to this program if you applied after March 15th um, for EI. If you applied before March 15th to EI, then it will go as a EI uh, program and you cannot apply for uh, Canadian Emergency Fund. So um, basically what they do is they will give you $2,000 uh, check or direct deposit into your account for every four weeks that's the program and who will eligible who will be eligible for this program basically like in a in a really simple words who are affected by this covid covid 19 um, if you lost your job because of the covid you know from the time period when this covid has started or um, if you're a self-employed person and you don't have business because of the covid so both people will be eligible and again there are many other little uh, requirements like you have to be you are a resident of Canada and you have to be 15 years or older and you have to you know you should have been working in uh, you know you should have worked um, in last 15 months and earned at least 5,000 in total income um, you know if you're self-employed it has to be at least $5,000 um, income in last 15 months so and there are other little requirements in order for you to be eligible for this program. So I, and I will leave the link in the description. You will see a, a detailed list uh, and also I have it in the description with a full list. Uh, but in a nutshell, these are the main uh, requirements for you to be eligible for this program. And again, um, as I said, this program you will receive $2,000 check for every four weeks. That means also you have to apply for this uh, in order to get that two thousand dollars you have to apply every four weeks so let's say if you didn't had any income in last 14 days consecutively then you can apply for this program and after you applied for this program you will receive two thousand dollars check as i said in three days and after that let's say you got another job or you started to make some income then you won't apply you won't be qualified for next um you know next four weeks program but again after 14 days consecutive period after that and if you still didn't had income or you know uh, your self-employed business did not generate income or you lost your job then you can apply again so this program is like a 
uh, repetitive until 16 weeks till October 3rd. You can apply for every four weeks. So make sure you check that details, make sure you're eligible for the program and apply. And how can you apply? It's really pretty straightforward. Actually, I thought it would be a complex uh, way to apply for this program, but uh, Thank you for the government. Actually, they made it really simple. Um, if you don't have any website knowledge, just call them up. I will leave the number on the screen. Um, if you have knowledge, then it's really simple. Just um, if you have a CRA login information, like hop onto your CRA um, website and put in your login information, um, as soon as you log in, you will see a blue color screen with a text saying Canadian Emergency Response Benefit Apply you with a small uh, description there. Once you hit that apply button, you will see a requirement list. Again, as I said, whatever the requirements I just mentioned, you will see all the details there and say next. And then they will, all you need like SIN number and they'll ask you for SIN number and then a couple, couple more details. Just two or three click buttons, done you will once you submit probably you will receive the deposit within three to four days if they are really quick because they understand the seriousness of this you know situation and um, there are definitely many families are suffering due to this situation so government is working their best to make as quick as possible um, and also just one tip uh, from my side is like just make sure you set up direct deposit payments on CRA before you apply for this program to get money quickly. Because if you don't have the direct deposit payment set up yet, you have to wait for the check, which will take 10 business days or maybe more, um, depends on the you know mail. Um, but it's really easy. You can do the direct deposit form set up either on CRA website or on your personal bank, whichever, whatever the bank that you're using, just uh, maybe just Google say, hey, how do I set up uh, CRA direct deposit, how to set up CRA direct deposit from RBC or from Scotia Bank, you will see. It's pretty straightforward, a couple of clicks uh, done. Uh, once you have this, then you will receive the money really quickly. And a couple of heads, heads up, um, you know, especially again, if you are confused and you applied for the program, but you know, later on you realize that you don't apply, uh, you don't really qualify, don't be panicked because government right now, they're sending out the money as soon as possible because to help the families who are really in need. Um, but later on, they will go through this details and verify if you really qualified for the program or not. And then at that time period, they will refund you that money. They will ask you for the refund, sorry, my bad. <laughs> they will ask you for that $2,000 or whatever the home how much of the amount that you receive from them in this time period, they will ask you for that uh, money to pay them back. And again, also just another heads up is this amount that whatever you will be receiving in this time period is a taxable income, which means it will be counted as your personal income. So for example, you made X amount like 50,000 in this year before and after this COVID situation and plus you received 8,000 from the government has a COVID um, Canadian uh, emergency response fund. Now your income 50,000 plus 8,000. So your total taxable income for that year will be 58,000. So that means you might have to pay taxes for the amount that you receive from the government. So it could be like 10%, it could be 25% depending on your income, but just make sure you save that money by the time you, know, you have to pay the taxes to the government just you know uh, make sure you keep it um, and also another update I just received is government actually really um, thinking about everyone so there are some scenarios where if you're self-employed um, you're making little money or if you're you know employed but you're not making as much as before for example if you're working if you're making 50000 before now you're making only 10000 like in total per year government is thinking about those people as well so they want to come up with some program again we don't know at the 
moment as soon as i have the information i will make a video on that one but they're also thinking about them maybe provide some kind of a benefit maybe not 2000 maybe 1000 i don't know at the moment they but they are they are thinking about that and also there are a um, couple of uh, programs like a uh, uh, loan um, loans they are providing like a subsidiary uh, loans for um, what do you call the um, small businesses um, so if you're like a running a restaurant or some other small business um, if you're running a small business uh, then you will be qualified for certain loans um, I will be making another video on that loans topic because there is a lot more to cover on that topic but in the meanwhile like if you want to check out if you're a self-employed uh, sorry if you're a small business owner then um, check out on the CRA website um, about all those details until I uh, before I make a video um, with that guys if you like what I said so far you know if you if you if you sorry if you find something that I'm missing in this content please leave the comments and also if you applied and you know tell me about your experience because you know other people can um, benefit out of it so make sure you leave the comments and if you like my content as I said hit that thumbs up button for the YouTube algorithm purpose that will really help my channel to grow and that will boost me to make more valuable content for you guys and also let me know if you want to know anything specific in this time period from me just leave the comments below i got some comments before asking for different topics i'm working on them i will be uh, posting those videos soon but with that thank you so much guys and have a wonderful day stay home